Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Lee Cullen with Northcraft Analytics. Showing you today our newly released uh, Tableau Incident Management Executive Dashboard for ServiceNow. Uh, this is available for all of our SaaS customers running in the Amazon EC2 cloud. You have your option of um, the Microsoft Performance Point Technologies or Tableau, depending on your needs, um, as well as on-premise customers. Uh, if you have Tableau licenses already in place, you can simply import these uh, along with our business intelligence applications, uh, which does include all of the ETL, the data warehouse, the cubes pre-built for ServiceNow. So what you're seeing here is delivered and available immediately upon installation. Um, so uh, what makes us, uh, what, what makes these Tableau dashboards executive and what makes them different from Performance Point? Well, a few things at a high level. Uh, first of all, in terms of the executive dashboard, we do follow a balanced scorecard approach. So we have the four pane dashboard with key performance indicators at the top. So you can pull from our pool of 2,200 measures and key performance indicators, uh, put them onto the dashboard to indicate visually your performance. So, so that's one of the things that makes them executive is, is following that, that approach. Uh, we do give you the ability to unlock trending across all of time, um, and 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 that's that's something that's really a function of of the architecture in the hybrid OLAP approach that we have um, delivered to both give you a multi-dimensional approach to look at the data as well as uh, the traditional SQL means. So uh, when we're looking at this incident volume across the year. Uh, we can go way above the uh, typical 50,000 record uh, limits that you would be constrained by uh, with the ServiceNow ODBC driver and uh, display a great deal of information to show your, your trend across time. In this case, we're looking at incidents total across percentage of incidents meeting SLAs. Uh, so it, and so the, that's why uh, we call this an executive dashboard because the ability to support trending statistics, uh, a true analysis and looking at organizational performance in terms of key performance indicators. Next, in terms of technical differentiators, a uh, few things that are really important in terms of performance point versus Tableau. Um, so with Tableau, you have the ability to display these uh, visualizations on any mobile device. That's really important. Uh, we can design these dashboards to fit uh, the standard resolution of an iPhone, of an iPad. Uh, there are pre-built templates that allow us to uh, make these visualizations fit perfectly. So we might go with a, a two-pane approach, for example, for your iPhone where you just have the KPI list and then uh, the visualization below. Uh, so, so that's one thing. Um, one differentiator technically. Another would be the fact that we can include using this embed code here, uh, these visualizations and put them in the ServiceNow portal. So you now have an, a, a BI application that natively supports the ServiceNow portal and, and the widgets remain live inside of ServiceNow. Uh, that was something that with the Microsoft technology um, before, we would be limited to um, using iframes with reporting services as uh, as a workaround but the visual visualizations are not as nice so um so we have native support for embedding live visualizations inside of ServiceNow, um unlike microsoft performance point which uh, does not have the capability to do that uh now so uh still mobile requirements i, I would not say that they're on the top of the list uh, for most of our customers, uh, most important is the information that you can get from the dashboard. So let me show you a few things that are um, that are unique and uh, some of the features that our customers really love in terms of, uh, of uh, our approach. So in the top left-hand corner, we have some of the common KPIs for incident management. So you can see for average resolve time here, we're at 192 hours. Our target is... Uh, 130 hours. Percentage of incidents priority critical, we would like you know to uh, hit 3%, uh, but we're at 15.5% of, of our incidents are critical. Um, you know, that'd be a concern and maybe something I would want to look at a little bit further. Um, 
So uh, then we have the multidimensional approach here. And, and what that is, is multidimensional really does mean you are using a different query language. You're using MDX to gather this data and, uh, and query this data. And it allows you to do things that SQL will not, such as handling higher numbers of records, higher joins, while still maintaining uh, really excellent query performance. So MDX queries uh, much more quickly. Um, the, the downside of MDX, as you may have heard, is that it is near real-time and not real-time. So in these uh, Tableau and both performance point dashboards, you can use both SQL and MDX. That's part of the hybrid OLAP approach. Um, and in addition, data mining expressions, uh, DMX. So there are three types of query language that Northcraft supports. Then we, uh, based on your needs, will choose the proper language. So if it's open critical incidents, for example, then we would use SQL to get your real time. Um, if it's percentage of incidents meeting SLAs across three years, and you want to drill down into the breaches, of the specific incident that breached SLA, we would use MDX. And that's because it's important and necessary. Uh, now, in, in terms of that multidimensional approach, here what you're seeing is, so we have percentage of incidents meeting SLAs. Notice that here in our heat map. Okay, and the color scheme here shows you your percentage. And then we have the total incident volume as well as the CI model. So that's multidimensional is bringing together three different tables, all with large data, data volume over, in this case, a one-year time period to show you that your Cisco Catalyst 6509s, okay, um, have the highest incident volume here outside of your unknowns uh, with the uh, with a breached SLA percentage of 29.82%, I'm sorry, excuse me, percentage of incidents meeting SLA is 29.82%, indicating that that's a problem. So when I select, you'll notice when I select the different elements in the chart, all of the other charts adjust to that particular widget. So um, you'll see above our key performance indicators now are filtered towards those Cisco Catalyst 65 09 uh, uh, configuration item models in our ServiceNow CMDB. So we've taken ServiceNow service level management data, ServiceNow CMDB data, your ServiceNow incident data here all in one widget. And that is not something that is possible with SQL. And uh, so we consider that a real advantage in unlocking types of analysis that are important. Because what you're looking at here is basically your most faulty equipment. Now, if you want to drill down into those specific incidents, that is possible. So we click on View Details, and now we want to drill into those incidents that were associated with the Cisco uh, Catalyst devices. And this is, again, over a one-year time period. Um, and this is in our cloud environment, so you can get an understanding of actual performance. And so the drill down happens, and uh, then we can, we can uh, see all of our information there. So the ability to drill down into details is, is critical there as well. Uh, we have uh, other process areas as well. There are 10 for uh, the various applications that we support, all listed on our website uh, and, and functions as well. We focus only on enterprise IT. Uh, so it's not only ServiceNow, as you, as you know by now, if you've subscribed to the YouTube uh, YouTube channel. It's ServiceNow, it's Remedy, it's Cisco UCCE, it's Microsoft SCOM, it's Avaya, um, HPU CMDB, and, and many more. And we're, and we're adding to the list daily. So it's a suite of BI applications that you can install. And these applications come with their own maintenance agreement, which allows you, the customer, to request changes to these BI applications through us in our CRM system. So we will configure and customize these applications for you uh, to reduce the amount of BI development that you have to do, and in fact, el eliminate it if you like. Uh, now, you can configure or customize them yourselves, but you also have the option to leverage us. Uh, so that's an example of uh, what we've done with uh, Tableau for ServiceNow. We're really excited about that. It's much more than just, just a dashboard. It includes, again, all of the, DT the ETL um, the data warehouse, the cubes, and as you customize ServiceNow, uh, these BI applications grow with you because we will handle your BI development. Thanks for your time today and let us know if you have any questions.